is Seth Donnelly. I'm a teacher at Los Altos High School, and I'm also a member of the Haiti Action Committee. And it's my great honor to introduce Pierre Lebossier, who will talk today about the situation in Haiti and the need for ongoing support and solidarity. Pierre is a co-founder of the Haiti Action Committee, and he's on the board of the Haiti Emergency Relief Fund. Pierre, what would you say to the youth at Los Altos High School and other high schools throughout the country that are clearly moved by these images of, of suffering in Haiti and, and want to help, what would you tell them? I want to tell them that um, really there is a lot that they can do. For, uh, Haiti is a country of youth, but roughly 48 to 50 percent of the population are young people below the age of 18. So uh, when the earthquake struck, and many eyewitnesses, one of them an attorney from Oakland, told us it was the young people who washed out there to remove people from the rubble, right? So there was a moment of shock because people don't know about earthquake in Haiti. We don't feel that often. So people went and started, the young people took the lead. The young people also started setting up makeshift clinics and they were tearing up t-shirts to make bandages and to, to um, provide first aid for people. And uh, right now in the neighborhoods, it's been the young people taking the leadership, organizing uh, neighborhood associations among the people as they are homeless on the streets. And that's why many people, even though there is no food and water, people are sharing what they have, what they can. And the young people are leading this movement of neighborhood associations and making sure that whoever has whatever they have available, that they can share it with everyone so everybody gets a piece of something. And uh, in throughout the history of Haiti, young people have been at the forefront of the movement for democracy in Haiti. Their example has been just phenomenal. So this is uh, so when they hear that young people here are doing this so many activities in solidarity with the people of Haiti, it really it has really inspired many of them. And I tell them over the phone that story and they spread it around because they see that and it really makes them know that they are not alone, that they can continue to go on, that they are not alone, that they will overcome these difficulties, they will survive because they have the backing of so many friends and so many young people here who are initiating uh, so many great projects to support them in Haiti in their hour of deep, 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 dire needs.